Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I go by London Cook and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys how I make my brown soup dough. But first, if you like what you're seeing and this is your first time here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're already a cooking friend, then welcome back. tablespoon of garlic powder, three quarter of a tablespoon of all purpose seasoning, three quarter of a tablespoon of ginger, garlic, and pimento seasoning, two teaspoons paprika, one teaspoon black pepper, a dash of salt, a half a package of this ram goat seasoning. I'm going to also go in with about six grounded pimento seeds, a little oil, and about two heaping tablespoons of my fresh blend. <music> tablespoon browning over my goat and also about a half a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm now going to allow this goat to marinate overnight for 24 hours but if you don't have 24 hours you can definitely do about three to six hours. Now I have added enough oil to the pot to coat it over a medium high heat. I'm also going in with two tablespoons of brown sugar and I'm going to allow this to burn or to become nice and bubbly. Next, it's time to add the goat and I will allow this to brown for about 20 minutes or so while I do stir it occasionally. pot ready for some mode so I have swished around about a cup of water in the container that I used to season my goat and I'm also adding about two heaping tablespoons of fresh blend to the pot along with two teaspoons of the ginger garlic and pimento seasoning and I will also add some hot water to the pot um, enough to somewhat almost cover the meat but not too much to drown out the seasonings Next, I have grounded up about six more pimento seeds. So I have added those to the pot and I'm going to also add a whole scotch bonnet pepper, which I will not cut and it's being used strictly for flavoring. The cooking process from here is pretty similar to making curry goat. I'm now going to cover my pot, lower my heat to the lowest setting and allow this to cook until it becomes tender and of course I will check my pot every 30 minutes or so.
been cooking for about an hour and a half and it's still not quite ready as yet but the pot did need some more water so I did add some more hot water to the pot and remove the scotch bonnet pepper as it appeared that it was about to burst. I did also add about one tablespoon of fresh blend to the pot just to ensure that everything stays nice and flavorful. We are about two and a half hours into cooking and at this point the goat is almost tender. So I have added about a quarter cup of oyster sauce and you guys that is optional. One tablespoon of fresh blend and the remainder of the ram goat seasoning. Now if you read the directions on the back of uh, this seasoning, it says to add the seasoning towards the end of cooking to help to enhance the goat flavor. So I am doing just so. And I will also add um, some thyme in here and then cover my pot back. And at this point in time, I did raise my heat up to medium and I will allow this to continue to simmer. The brown stew goat is ready and you guys look how rich and beautiful this color is. I wish you guys could smell this, it smells absolutely delicious. Not to mention it is buttery soft and you guys I just could not wait to dig into this. I truly do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was super helpful. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe with your friends and family. And don't forget to tweak and change things as you go to your liking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my website, LondonCooks.com, for exclusive recipes that I don't post on here. See you guys in the next video.